Hello and welcome to a little weekend in my life. I thought I'd show you how much it costs for me, like during a weekend in Astana. Now I'm gonna try to do things this weekend, so there's like a little example of <laughs> what you can do. But not as like a tourist, just as like a regular person, because um, I was thinking of doing nothing this weekend, but I need to film a video. <laughs> I'm here at a place called Salad Bar for lunch. I love Salad Bar because it has vegetarian or vegan options. And I got the vegan bowl. Usually it's supposed to have tofu, um, but they don't have tofu today. So I got it with falafel instead. It's huge. The portion is like big. You'll be very full, whatever type of bowl you get. Of course they have meat options too. Most of the options have meat in them. And I also got a chichivichi cream soup or um, what is that called? Lentil cream soup. And they have my drink that I like. It's pear cinnamon. And usually it's warm, but they made it cool. Um, I don't know, but it's delicious. And the total for this whole meal is 3,900 tenge. Now, the tenge currently is kind of in fluctuation because of current events. And it's increasing compared to the US dollar. So I'll go ahead and put the US dollar conversion rate, but that might change. Mmm, ah, it's good. Let me have my lunch and then we'll go to the next location. I'm excited, it's a place I've never been to, but, but let me eat first. <laughs> Just got the index and I'm heading to the next location. It's 1,100 tenge and the guy said he's already there. He's ready away from me. <laughs> All right, I am at a cat cafe. I don't know how many there are in Arsana, if there are any besides this one. It's called Meow Cat Cafe and it's 2,500 tenge an hour to be here. I think there's a different price if you wanted to like go um, like a unlimited amount of time a certain day, but there's little cats everywhere. So I've never been to this place before and it's kind of just chill. I know I already have a cat. I don't need to see any more, but I came with a friend. We both haven't been here and yeah, just enjoying a little quality time with a bunch of random cats. After the cat cafe, we went to this little Meramhana. My friend said it was a cafe, but there's a difference between a Meramhana and a cafe here. It said cafe. Um, donor, um, restaurant, and Meramhana. Meramhana, when you see it, it just means restaurant, to be honest. It just means restaurant, but it actually means a place that doesn't have a lot of decorations and has the classic food like donor, pilaf. Um, this place also had like hamburgers and cheeseburgers, just like a really relaxed, not fancy at all type of place. So when we went in, that's what it was. She was like, oh, I saw a cafe. And I was like, when I saw Madame Hana, we went inside, very sparse. I'm waiting for the bus. I'm gonna take the bus this time to show you, you know, what, how much the bus costs and what that type of thing. I had to transfer, so I got on that bus. Now I'm at another stop. Um, I'm by Hanshatur. If you're in Kazakhstan, you can visit that. There's a beach at the top. But I forgot to say, one good thing about Meram Hana um, type of cafes is that they're cheap. So I only had to pay 770 tenge. Uh, my friend got a latte and I got a black tea with milk. And in total, it was 770 tenge. Very affordable because it's a Meram Hana. <laughs> Like Asana almost. All right, I've gotten on a different bus. I thought I was gonna take the 10, but it turns out I can take a different bus. Little bus moment. I'm not paying for this bus if I... I don't think I have to because I, I just paid for a different bus and this is a transfer. I, I, I waited for like five minutes. But in the case that somebody knows that you do have to pay for a bus, um, don't report me because I didn't know. By the way, here's today's fit. I'm going for the older sibling that you have a crush on. Vibe. I don't know if you can see it. Should I come up this way? <laughs> Who 
who even cares? <laughs> so I've arrived with my friends. This is Justina and Nabila's off camera. We've come to Darajani, a Georgian food place, and I forgot to film some of this stuff <laughs> because I always forget to film food. I just eat it. Or actually, I was watching them eat a salad. They got salad, and then Justina, what'd you get? Lamb kebab. Kebab. Yeah. But it looks like a sausage. Yeah, it does. Look like <laughs> <laughs> they they made it into like a sausage basically, and I got kinkali with spinach and cream uh, cheese with cheese oh, we also got hachapuri which I found a little slice of cheese and <laughs> cheese and potatoes yeah, right? it was delicious this place is like overall the food quality is very good I would say yeah I agree yeah so anyways I'll let you know how much it is at the end roll <laughs> her, her yeah. turn but then they were gonna do something else but then you just you know, oh yeah I five which means we're finished we're yeah. done go back to practice and yeah. So, do you think she likes him? Oh, it's for it's sure. Obvious. So, the grand total for three people is 17,239 tenge. We each got different amounts, so it's not like split between three. So, I'll look later to see how much mine was exactly. It just as a little fun fact, usually among my friends, we'll have one person pay and then other people transfer the money to them via Caspi. So, that's a common way to do it because sometimes they don't like splitting the checks here. <laughs> or it's a pain in the butt so yeah we just one person pays and then people pay them back it's much easier and we're gonna go someplace else for an after dinner snack let's head to that location i'm back at joso coffee i feel like i'm here in every video <laughs> a boob oh like a boob i was thinking <laughs> anyways i got my usual mango matcha latte Justina got a strawberry matcha latte. You got a Nabila got a hot chocolate. Anyways, this was 1,500, I think. I don't know. And then I also got mochi. And on the inside, it's um, black currant. And it, to in total, it was 2,510 k. Day two. Justina and I are on their way to allow ice rink. We're gonna go ice skating today. Yeah. We haven't been in a long time. Yeah, like two years. <laughs> yeah, it finally opened up this year and we haven't been though. Like it wasn't advertised that it was open, I guess. No, or, like, I, I haven't seen any, yeah, any I, advertisements. I just happened to look and it was open. So I was like, oh, let's go, something to do, you know? <laughs> so we're gonna go. I can't remember how much the tickets cost or anything. A thousand, a thousand wave. 500 yeah. something like that it depends on the time i know that it depends oh, on the really? time that you go yeah okay and like in the afternoon it's more expensive right so we'll see and then you also have to pay for the skates if you don't have skates right i, I can't remember that I one's a thousand so. i want to say right. but we'll see it's been two years so maybe they've increased the price basically it turns out that the cash Cashier's box? Cash register? The, the ticket box. Thank you. The ticket box, the ticket office was closed. Office, yeah. And you had to go and pay online. We didn't know that. So I had to go and like go on my phone, buy the tickets. Turns out um, the entry fee is 1,500 tenge per person. And then to buy this, rent the skates is also 1,500 tenge per person. So I paid via Caspi and that was an extra charge of 150 tenge. Thank, thank God for Caspi. Yeah. <laughs> Not sponsored, but hey, you can sponsor me at any time. <laughs> when you buy the ticket, they send you via text QR codes for your skates and also for the entry. And you'll get those QR codes, like, um, scanned at different locations, right? All right, let's skate. Yeah, let's do it. for two hour intervals that's how, how much you pay for we skated for about an hour and 10 minutes an hour and 10 and about yeah. hour and 20 maybe our feet were like killing us right yeah <laughs> it was brutal it was indeed but it got better after 15 20 minutes yeah yeah I guess. Uh, and then we could just skate away right so we both didn't have breakfast or anything or lunch so yeah we're gonna get lunch now at master coffee we're gonna take the bus back so that'll be another 90 tenge and I'll see you when we get our lunch. 
We've come to Master Coffee. I ordered a French omelet and I asked it without ham. <laughs> and I also got French fries. This is the thing I always order here. Justina got a sandwich with, what is it? Parma ham. It should be a thin Italian ham, but it was a thick piece of meat. It was a thick boy. We got a mango imbirni chai, so mango ginger tea. And then we were a little parched still. So we got raspberry tea as well. Both of those teas are very good if you ever come to Master Coffee. But the grand total for all of that was 9,185. I don't know, somewhere on the screen, I'll put what mine costed exactly. Costed? I can't speak English. How much it cost? I don't normally do this, but I think I'm gonna go shopping after this. I've seen somebody in this that I go to have this, sh this sweater and I want this sweater now. Young man. I don't normally like shop for clothes all the time. We'll go to Cossack Republic after this to see if they have a sweater that I like, a hoodie that I like. They have it too and wear it <laughs> <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> they didn't have it. I can't match with someone who doesn't even know or barely even knows that I exist. We just found this cute little sign. We're gonna take some photos. So I also went to the store because I didn't find the sweater that I wanted. They didn't have the color. Afterwards, Justin needed, needed to go to the store for to pick up something. I decided to get some kombucha because it's one of my guilty pleasures and also some gum. <laughs> and that came out to a grand total of 2,390 tenge. Kombucha is expensive. This brand is also ex expensive. So <laughs> that's not like something normal and not every store has kombucha. I love kombucha. So I got some. I haven't had kombucha in a while, so I'm, I'm treating myself. So I think I'll order food later because I don't have anything and I don't want to cook anything. I'm lazy. By the way, nobody cares, but the look for the day is how many colors do you want? Yes. I ordered on Volt, a food ordering service like Uber Eats, I guess, a pizza. It's taking a while to come to my apartment. So in the meantime, I made a little salad of tomatoes <coughs> and cucumbers. Let me check how much the pizza will be. 2,510 gay. In this certain restaurant that I got it from, Pie Pie, Pie and Pasta Bar, they have free delivery on Volt right now. <laughs> so I didn't have to pay any delivery. The pizza arrived. Have a bite. What, is it good? I'll try some. Mmm. You think it's good? Mm. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a lot of bread, so that's what I like. I'm not really a fan of thin crust. Are you, oh, you like thin crust? Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's the end of my weekend. The grand total for this weekend is right here. This much on the first day, and this much on the second day. Definitely, you can convert these prices to what it is when you're watching the video to know, you know, how much I was spending. Now, I wasn't running around the town. I wasn't doing like a whole ton of things, just like a regular weekend. So I could have done more, could have spent more if I wanted to have it like jam-packed. If, if you're a tourist, obviously you do more in a city than, than me. I've been living here for three and a half years. I'm not like jumping around everywhere. And plus I'm, sadly, I'm just not like a fun, active person. I'm just a worm. Thank you so much for watching. Look for my next video coming out hopefully soon. I don't want to jinx myself, but hopefully soon. And bye bye.